Welcome to this LabVault tutorial about the Thyristor three-phase bridge. Left-click on this button to open the Thyristor control application, then go under Function Selection here to choose the function from the list. Now let's take a look at the settings of this function. Firing Angle Control You can choose Knob, Analog Input 1, or Complement Analog Input 1. Firing Angle from 0 to 180 degrees. Acceleration and deceleration time for smoother command variation. Q1 to Q6, the thyristors of this function. As you see in this function, every thyristor is used. You can choose for each one active, which means that the thyristor will be controlled by the application, or always on or off for troubleshooting. Status indicates if the function is started or not. The knob here can be used to vary the firing angle. You can also change the firing angle directly here by tapping the number you want. Finally, here is the start-stop button to control the function. Here is an electrical diagram of the current function with a show connection button to help you connect your hardware equipment. Be sure to connect the meter E4 between lines 1 and 2. If not, the function will not work at all. This three-phase bridge is a full-wave rectifier using thyristors instead of diodes. This implies that a rectifier with thyristors can vary the amplitude of the output voltage, but a rectifier with diodes can't. In fact, every phase of this rectifier will have the same output parameters as the thyristor single-phase bridge. Let's see it in action. When your equipment is connected, start the application. The yellow curve here is the input voltage between L1 and L2. The blue curve is the output voltage at CD, and the purple curve is the signal sent to Q1. As expected, the firing angle is inversely proportional to the output DC voltage. As the firing angle increases, the output DC voltage decreases. The load used for this experiment is a resistive load, but you can easily see that a DC motor would fit as a load with its speed adjustable through this knob. You then have a variable DC supply voltage from a three-phase AC power network. That's it for the Thyristor three-phase bridge.